Hey guys, so I have a couple of things to share with you today. Oh my gosh, you can't imagine what a mess I just created. Something just fell over on my desk and I'm not going to clean it up until after the video. <laughs> so I ordered from Blitzy these Ideology Vignette Houses um, for Christmas. And I've never seen these before until I was looking around for some of the new Tim Holtz stuff. So these were from last year, I think. And I went over to Blitzy to, to purchase that. And some of this, which is his Distress Glitter Dust. So this is a finer particle than, um, say, the glitter, the Distress Glitter. It's probably best if you use it outside. Um, otherwise, you may attract some sort of um, glitter to yourself. I might, maybe I should send some of this to Amador. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, if he's watching. And um, I picked up the Picket Fence, uh, Vintage Photo, and Hickory Smoke um, for some distressing that I'm going to do or going to try out. And the last thing I got was a package of the uh, Frozen Alpha Parts. I don't know why they call these Alpha Parts. There's no there's no letters on these. They're, they're plastic um, snowflakes and icicles. Um, so you can use this for decorating things like this. Um, so yeah, I got one of those because they only had one. And I also got my Mama Elephant order. I have my bag die out because, um, I purchased the new, um, accessories. So these were the freebies. They had a, if you ordered from Mama Elephant directly, they had 10% off their site and they had freebies if you ordered over a certain amount so one was like the stamp set and the other one was the die and stamp set together so um i met both thresholds so <laughs> you got the occasional labels um stamp set which is really cool these little type things are are very useful and then this one is hello friend um die so those were the freebies um I got the Yeti set, and I don't normally order the sets um, to cut out the stamps, but um, because this one right here, um, he's hugging stuff, and the die set actually will cut his hands out there. So I, don't, I know you could use a craft knife, but I don't know if I can get in there and cut those little nubbins off um, using a craft knife. So yeah, I uh, opted to... To purchase the die just because of that one die set in there. I like the Yeti. He's cute. Um, and then I purchased both the um, reindeer and the Santa agenda. Now I don't stamp in my planner and I actually rarely use my planner right now. Um, I thought this would be really cute for tags or cards. You know really small format things. <laughs> so they're really cute. Um, this would be great for a advent calendar was what I was thinking too. Because there's 16? Four. Yeah, it looks like 16 of each of the characters. So you'd have plenty to do 25 days of Christmas. And you can alternate them. So yeah, got that. And then I got this one, which is called Sentiments from a Yeti. So this goes along with the Yeti set, and then I also purchased the die that goes with it. Here it is. Why? Because I am not going to cut those stars. Do you see the stars? I guess my scanning cut could have cut that. But I went ahead and got the die too. No big deal. I don't think this was that much, plus it was 10% off. So that, and then I got this one, which is Puffy Holiday Greetings. This is I like the font on this. It's kind of... Hard to see, but um, yeah, I really like that one. And of course, I love the ones they do for this one. Seasons Greetings. I have a lot of the birthday ones and stuff like that. So this one's for Christmas. Okay, so this is the two bag die accessories they came out with. I know you guys are probably going to search some Chinese website for these now. I'm not going to promote it, so I'm just saying... I know lots of you have been buying dies from there, so um, here's the bag die um, from Mama Elephant, and I just cut out the, the center part because I was going to make some stuff. But these two are accessory dies for the die uh, for the bag die. Uh, one of them is a reindeer, 
right? Am I wrong? One of them is a reindeer and a snowman. And I think that's this one because there's the hat. And then this one I think is Santa and an elf, I believe. That sounds right to me, but I don't know. Yeah, because that looks like the, the hat part. So, yeah, got those two. And then um, I also got this, I don't know, I, I have this obsession with containers. This is a um, box die with a window in it. You can cut a window into it. You don't have to. It's both the bottom and the top. So you just cut it twice. Um, and that was my Mama Elephant haul. So the last thing I got was my paper tray ink haul last Friday was their release also the same day as Mama Elephant um, and so this is what I purchased on that release um, the first thing is this holiday tag-along um, mini kit so this is the uh, make it market mini kit that was released this month uh, it has a bunch of stuff in it it has this, these stamps which are bigger um, it has stencils and it has the dies for the for tag making tags so let me just see if I can show you the the dies because it's interesting how they did it and I think you can use these for other dies other tag dies that you might have so here's the dies for the tag here's the tag size right here right and then you can interchange these inside the the tag to cut um, little designs into the tag itself and um, so you got a couple of different designs and it will cut um, so it leaves a circle inside. So let me show you here. Here's an example. Paper was included in the kit this month. Now, all of these are not the same. So I didn't open it yet, but I know all of these are not the same color or um, style. So see how it's got the little polka dots here? You can use the die to cut the polka dots out um, or you can you know, do something a little different if you want. So there's paper and there's sequins, and there's um, twine. So that's the um, the mini kit that was released. So that was a good value, I think. Um, this is the Beautiful Berries Winter um, stamp and die. Um, and again, I don't usually buy the dies um, that match up, but um, more and more I'm finding that if it's a layered die, a uh, layered stamp, if I have the die, it's a little bit easier for me to, to figure out where to line things up um, when I'm doing it. But here's the stamp set. It, and the picture is smaller than the actual stamp, obviously. So there's that. Um, this is very merry. And look how they did the Christmas tree. That's what you get. You get a layered Christmas tree um, here. And then you get like different... Um, what do you call that? Garlands and different um, ornaments. And then you get some sentiments. And I also purchased the die as well. Why did I do that? I was thinking because of the way this stamp is designed, the scan and cut might not be able to pick up um, that this is one whole image because these layers don't touch each other in all places. There, there's a gap between them. So I, I was concerned that the scanning cut wouldn't be able to pick it up. Okay, so these next two dies are ornaments. Well, this one's an ornament. Let me see if I can, or a tag, I'm sorry. So this is just a regular tag, but this one um, kind of fits, can fit together with it. Is this the one? Yeah, maybe. You can use them together um, or separate. This is the cutaway tag die, and it's for Christmas. This is like a holly thing. And then there's the stamp that um, matches it. So you can stamp it on there, or you can choose to have a solid background. I saw some really pretty samples from the design team um, for this one. And that one's called Cutaway Tags Winter. This one is the berry wreath, and of course I have plenty of wreaths. But I don't know, I just wanted to try this one out too. I'm obsessed, I know it. Um, so I got the die as well as the stamp set. Um, these are just the individual dies that I purchased. These, um, This is a gift card holder and so is this. 
Um, all it does is cut out, well, it doesn't cut out a piece of paper. It just cuts these little scallops. You will make the impression on the gift card holder itself or the, you know, whatever piece of paper you've cut out to whatever shape. And it will um, put this impression of the pinking edge on it and then the stitch line as well as this one is like a scallop. With little dots and then it will cut the little holder for the gift card so you could have a card that just has these little moons cut out of it but the little shapes back behind the card so a little decorative piece i didn't they have a gift card holder but i didn't purchase that because i have other gift card holders already so i thought well i'll just go for these for now this one is the new mix and mat they again i've said this before they have interchangeable um pieces so throughout this year they have been releasing these um each i think it's each month they've had them seems like it and um so this is the winter one um this one has um needles and berries and this little this other decorative piece here which doesn't cut it only you know gives you that impression and this this one cuts little snowfall it doesn't actually cut the rectangle the only piece that actually cuts it a uh, rectangle shape is this outer one so um, you can mix and mat the layers of the different um, dies they've been releasing so that's pretty cool okay these um these are their five dollar stamps I got this one um, brown paper packages tied up with strings these are a few of my favorite things everybody knows that line don't they and then this one is um, winter wishes or something yeah winter witches wishes so this is just a sentiment stamp and there's the size. There's the size of that one. This one's a pretty big one, so it's like a card front. That'll be pretty pretty to use. I got another snowflake stamp, which of course I probably didn't need. There it is. It's called Silver White Winters, I think. Yeah, Silver White Winters. I did not buy the dies for this. They do have a die set, but I didn't buy them. And then this one is for the gift card, actually. Um, I just thought it would be nice to have little stamps for the gift card. Um, so that would be fun to use on, you know, something I already have as a die. And then the last one is the Brilliant Baubles, which I didn't, again, I didn't buy the um, the dies for this. I just bought the stamp because I know my scan and cut can pick this up without any problems usually. So that is my paper tray ink haul. And now I have to go clean up this big mess that I just created when I knocked something over. Thanks guys for watching. Talk to you later.